Hi art friends! Hello art friends! This was gonna be a pencil case tour, but it turns out a bunch of the art supplies we're using at the moment don't fit in pencil cases. No, they're quite large. <laughs> so instead, we're gonna be doing art supplies we really like using at the moment. Welcome to our winter favourites that we really enjoy using at the moment. Yeah, that's a good title. Click it. <laughs> I think they've already clicked on it by this <laughs> oh. point. <laughs> okay. Without further ado guys, I'm gonna get into the very first item, which is actually quite a lot of items all in one go, but you will see why, because this is a watercolour set by Schmink. This is a watercolour set by Sakura Koi. <laughs> This yeah. is going great. These are Daniel Smith watercolour paints. And this is the Kuretaki Gansai watercolour set too. I like how you've practically brought every watercolour set we own in here. Well, the reason that I have is because, as you guys know recently I've really picked up watercolour and in the past month, like February, I've actually been using all of these. Yeah, like, if he just picks them at random and just plays with them. <laughs> I have said in streams though before, my favourite, well one of my favourite ones is this and I will show you why in case you've missed it in the past. Look at this! Look. That gives you the names of the colours corresponding to the numbers which makes it super easy for a colourblind dingus like me to use these! Are you not a dingus? But I'll just show people how it works. This is on like the outer packaging by the way. So there's like number 30 and if we look over here... That's number 32, great. <laughs> there we go. It's here, this one's number 30. <laughs> so yeah, I can say like, oh that's a certain type of red, match it with the number and I know that I've got a colour that I'm looking for. That is like a huge help because none of these not even Schmink, who's like, really fancy. Look! Nothing! Although, to be fair, on the Schmink ones, I have written Posca pens, let me come up close. Oh yeah. This is something that you did, this isn't yeah. something that they did. I added, like, little name things, and there is a swatch sheet thing that it came with which, as well. Which Steph did for me as well, <laughs> which is very sweet, but yeah. If you're just starting out with watercolours, forget these! These are fancy, oh, go away! <laughs> this! is the best, I'm gonna just say it, this is the best watercolour set that you can probably get for a beginner. It's like 30-ish dollars. It was about 30 pounds here, but look at all the colours that you get. And I really want to drive home just how good this is. That is how much paint you get in each palette. Look how thick that is! Yeah, they're really good I've, size. I've never come across a watercolour set that comes with that much paint at that price, guys. <laughs> You can really see how much you've been using them as well. They've all got like little wells in them already. Yeah, well, particularly in streams, I've been using them like a lot lately. So if you guys ever drop by a stream, chances are you'll probably see me at some point using this set because it's awesome. You guys might have noticed that I've been doing quite a lot of fantasy. Well, I always tend to do fantasy style art, but I've had some very interesting inspiration recently. And check these out, guys. You might have seen them before. These. <laughs> It's got, a, it's got a Steph hair on it. <laughs> you can see him. That enhances it. <laughs> we got these from a... Where did we get this from? An antique shop like a really long time ago now. I got these mainly for um, outfit design. Look at those! Aren't they awesome? And it shows like all the different outfits that they wore and stuff. I love the blocky coloured backgrounds. Yeah, they're good. I mean, it's just beautiful. And that's good. There's the womanizer over there, King Henry. At some point, we'll have to do like an old art book tour because we have quite a few of them. Yeah, guys, if you're interested, we have we have quite a lot of these, and we got them just because like it's old. We're interested in old stuff. They smell kind of strange, but the artwork <laughs> and stuff in them is awesome. It's really cool. I mean, this cost this cost six pence, one penny. That cost a penny back in the day. Now. Moving on to, well, I say I'm, I'm kind of moving back. This is a watercolour palette. You might have seen one of these before, but the reason that... I nearly dropped that. Because <laughs> I'm doing watercolour, I needed a palette of my own. I got this from Amazon, and as you might have heard, it's a porcelain it's one. It's really heavy. Yeah, it's really heavy. So if you're heavy-handed like me, you don't knock it over. It's really easy to clean, and I think this cost five, either five or seven pounds, but if you're careful with this, this will last you like forever. It is built like a tank. Compared to plastic ones, this also doesn't stain as easily. I've noticed pas uh, plastic ones can stain if you leave the paints in for a while, but this always comes up super clean. Look at how much paint he's got kicked in there right now, guys. Don't look at this, no. <laughs> now you might be wondering, Adam, you're doing all this watercoloring, but what are you watercoloring on? Well, I've been watercoloring on this. Now this is quite fancy watercolour paper, and I bought it because I wanted to feel fancy. 
<laughs> I had no other reason. Now this is Saunders uh, Waterford, as you can probably guess, by St. Cuthbert's Mill. It, does it say on there what it is? It obviously says it's white. Uh, £140. I thought it had... Oh, yeah. Where's the GSM on this? Ah! I was trying to get close up. <laughs> oh, sorry. It doesn't have the GSM on it. Mm. Yes, it is. It's on the side here. Oh. There you go. <laughs> there is... There's all the details if you're interested in... Well, exactly what you get, because this isn't cheap, right? It's 20 sheets that comes in a block form. I'll show you that. But, guys, it's like... It's amazing. <laughs> Basically, it was a lot bigger when it first came. But as you can see, this is like a sort of glue where the black tape is and it's ho it holds all the 20 sheets together so it keeps it flat while you're painting and then when you're done you just cut around it and you hopefully have a really nice flat watercolour image. That's what I'm working on right now. Oh. It's in there because if you see, it, it does not come out. <laughs> Sealed in yeah, there. it's literally a block. But in terms of like the quality of the paper, it's awesome. I've even like let stuff dry and with enough water I've been able to reactivate the colour and the paper's just like, give me more! <laughs> Take it! Go away, <laughs> I've had enough of you. Another item that I've recently been using, well I say recently been using, I found this. A sketchbook from Tiger. As you can see it says I started it in August, August? No, April of last year. Uh -huh. The reason that I wanted to recommend this is because I recently found it again and when I'm pencil sketching at the moment I really like smooth paper because the qu the contrast with this is this is quite rough as you can probably imagine. Yeah because it's watercolour. But for just pencil sketching this was like from Tiger as I say I think this was a pound this was super cheap. I don't even think it was officially sold as a sketchbook I think it was just sort of like a, a lineless notebook. Yeah but the paper is oh feel that hard. it's so smooth. Yeah, that is really smooth. It's really good. I mean, granted, the art that's in here will probably be quite old now, but let me give you... Let me find something for you. <laughs> something for you to have a look at. I mean, wow, this is quite old now, but it makes really nice pencil. Oh, wow, yeah. It looks every, it makes everything look so smooth. I'm really into it. So that's like one of my favourites for uh, pencil sketching in at the moment. I'm glad I found it again, because I've got loads of pages left here. Oh, good, because he keeps complaining. He doesn't have a sketch. I know, though. right? So I'm going to fill this one up next. <laughs> but also... Steph does have some favourites too. Yeah, don't so worry. I'm gonna hand the camera over to... I'm gonna hand the camera over to myself. I'm gonna take the camera <laughs> and I'm gonna show you Steph and she's gonna show you some good stuff. She has two. There she is. Hello. <laughs> it's Me. you, Steph. Oh no, you stole my line. <laughs> Monty's changed sides. That's new and exciting. <laughs> too much change. Today is one of the coldest days of the entire year. So I'm wearing a scarf. As for my favourites, there's a few of them that I couldn't find. And I think it's because I like them so much. I love them so much, I lost them. <laughs> it's a watercolour paper, the main one that I wanted to talk about that I can't find. And it's by, I think, the same people. Same yeah, it is. Mill. But instead of Saunders Waterford, it's called Bockingford paper. I'll try and put like an image on screen so you guys can see. Yeah, and it's a hot press one that I really like. And it is so smooth. It is the smoothest watercolour paper ever. Like some watercolour papers say that they're hot pressed and they don't really feel that hot pressed. But this one, like when you're trying to raise a sketch off it, it's just, ooh, it's, it's like, a dream come true. It's like rubbing your face on a cloud. <laughs> yeah. Because Adam's been getting so into painting recently, he sort of ignited my passion for painting as well. Because I had a few watercolour palettes that I'd got hold of that I was scared to use because they get really precious about things. Adam doesn't have that problem whatsoever. <laughs> nope. Me and him so easily use my schmink paints that I've kept like hidden away for about a year and a half or something. I love using those, <laughs> I feel so fancy. So I've actually started to dare use these recently. Yeah, I didn't want to talk about those too much because that is Steph's <laughs> set, believe it or not. Adam, he doesn't even know how to keep them all in like color order, so he takes them out and he swaps them <laughs> Adam's all stupid, he keeps moving my paints all around. <laughs> oh, but I love organizing things, so I like getting them back out. And yeah, I'll like have, I'll have a session with them and there'll be paints like everywhere, and then you'll just sit really happily reorganizing them, but because I know they have an order now, I've stopped moving them around. <laughs> They're so creamy and panty. This is something that I wanted to get for quite a while and then I thought, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself. And it's a little Ooh. box, watercolour brush pen. A little box? There's well, 60 in there! Yeah, it's actually quite a big box. <laughs> There's a bigger box than this one apparently, I think it's got 80 in. Oh, whoa. And it took me like an entire night to swatch all these, so yeah, definitely not little. I like ran away when you started doing it, I was like, <laughs> no! It's cracked on the back, which is a shame, but it did oh. come all the way from Japan, so let's not be too oh. mean. 
<laughs> yeah, and they were all in like rainbow colour order, but there's no way I don't think to actually keep them in any I kind can, of colour order. I can see some of the colours at the bottom there. Ooh, I never thought of that. That's a clever idea. <laughs> there's like a few neon ones, and even they work as like watercolour ones. So as long as you've got like a water brush or a paintbrush or whatever, and you go <laughs> and they turn into like watercolour. <laughs> it's very important to do this. <laughs> We've used them in a video before quite a long time ago, but we didn't have many colours back then. And now we have like loads, so if you want to see a video on that, let us know! And because I've been getting into painting recently, oh -ho -ho. Um, I dug out my gouache paints. These are another thing that I've had for quite a few years. This was like one of my biggest like art purchases from a couple of years ago that I was scared to use, so that I never used very <laughs> Oh often. no! Are you spotting a theme here? <laughs> I get scared to use art supplies. I love buying art supplies and looking at them. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of the time, that's why I end up using my other art supplies, because I end up getting so intimidated by these ones that I'm like, oh, I'm unworthy, I don't deserve to use that. I'm trying to break that. You're habit. doing great with it, and that is such a beautiful set. Like, the little paints inside it are, oh, beautiful. Yeah, so let me give you a peek inside of this. If any of I'm you guys want to <laughs> invest in, like, a good set of gouache, I cannot recommend Holbein gouache enough. Look at those! And they so, actually look like the colours yeah, that are on the tubes. Quite a few gouache brands, because I, I used to have sets that I got from, like, Reeves, and the colour representation compared to what was on the bottle, same with my Dale Aranya ones that I had as well, they were really dark compared to what the colour label was. Mm. They weren't a very true colour. And the pink was one of the ones I used to have the most problem with. Oh, but this pink, guys. Yeah. Oh. Look at the colour of that pink paint. Look at it. I want to look at... Oh my word, look at that. That, is... that pink is happy to see me. I used this to draw a little mushroom paint in recently. Do you? If I can find it, I'll put it on screen oh, so you guys can see. I'm picking mushrooms. Ooh. This is a new masking fluid I've been using. I've experimented with a couple of uh, masking fluids in the past, and so far I'm definitely having good luck with this one. You used it in a doodles and tea not too long yeah, ago, didn't you? Yeah, if you want to see how I used it, you can see I had no idea what I was doing and it worked! <laughs> it's a miracle! And I also bought a set of masking fluid brushes. If you look on there, it literally is a... Yeah, the tip is quite different. It's like a, it's like a foam. It's not bristles. It's like a, a plastic foam. What's that say? Masking for oh, so I don't yeah. get confused. I also wanted to show off this cute washi tape. Oh my god, I forgot you even got that. Wow, that's from Tiger, right? Yeah, I like picking up cute little washi tapes whenever I go into Tiger. Can I see the design that's on it? Because it's quite a cute little. Oh, one-handed vlogging, look at me go. And just whenever um, I'm sending like letters out to friends or whatever, or yeah. any opportunity to put washi tape on things at the moment, this is the one I am using. It's beautiful, I love it. It kind of colour coordinates with me at the moment as well. Ooh, art goals. <laughs> I agree. I've got hair I've actually shown this on the channel once before. Oh? I haven't used it until recently. So. Oh, okay. This is a rubber stamping block. It's from Dice? Yeah, Daiso, yeah. Yeah, which I think is meant to be like the Poundland or the Dollar Store of like Japan. Mm -hmm. But because we don't have it here, I have to pay stupid amounts to like import this. I have to pay more than a dollar. <laughs> yeah. It's really cool because if you're into stamp carving, it's really soft and wiggly. Compared to a lot of the lino, like soft lino cuts that we get, it's even softer than It's soft super lino. soft, yeah, it's, it's really easy to work with. Yeah, it's a lot more similar to like an eraser block. Yeah. One of my favourite parts about it is that when you're cutting away, your design is still in the blue at the top, and the bits that you've cut away are in the white. Oh, so it's easy to distinguish what you've cut? Yeah, so it's easy oh, to awesome. see what your design actually looks like. That's but such like a simple, clever idea as well, that's awesome. But then I did way too much stamp making in a day, and I've hurt my wrist a bit, so I have to lay off it for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but expect, hopefully, a stamp making video at some point, because I'd love to give it yeah, a try too. I'd really like to at least do like a stamp tour where I show you a bunch of my stamping supplies and I show you the little designs I've made and we can do some stamping together. It'll be a good time. Let us know if you want to see it because I'm super excited to give that a try. Yeah, because it's a super personalised video because everything I've like had made. Oh, this next one really isn't a surprise, but these are like my all time favourite markers that I'm currently using. <laughs> and you guys already know what they are. Yeah. <laughs> I think this one is the 60 set. I believe so. It's a lot. There's a lot in there. Yeah, and look at all these colours in here. Ooh. I've had quite a few people recently mentioning that they went out 
because they saw me with these and they ordered an 80 set that are hoop. Well, really? And apparently um, they're different to these ones. They're like a different shape. Apparently the colours are a bit darker than these ones and they don't have colour names on the caps. So just bear that in mind if you go out and you see, oh, 80, it might be a different set to these. So. You have been warned. Like, not to say that they're bad, they're just different. A bit different, yeah. That I use. Personally, I really like this set for a few colours. Show me the colours. I will. We've got <laughs> pale lilac. A beautiful colour. Um, pale pink light. Okay. Rose pink. It's just got a really nice set of like pastel colours. Yeah, they do like they do actually look really nice in pastel. I mean, all the colours aren't super true to the label that's on them. But, but hey, for the price. I swear, there's some companies, they will sell you a baby pink and it comes out like that. <laughs> this one actually has baby pink. So exactly. For, for the price, we've always said with the hoo-hoo markers, for the price, you can't really go wrong. I mean, yeah, okay, you might not get an exact, an exact, like, copy of what's on the barrel. But hey, for the price, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, for the price, they are my best friends at the moment. Okay, guys, so this is like our wintery favourite that we're currently using at the moment video. We hope you enjoyed it because we'd like to do this more often as we discover more art supplies. Yeah, because we're always using different things a lot. <laughs> I'm going to post a mystery video somewhere on screen now and don't forget to like and subscribe so we can see you next time for another doodle date. Doodle date! Bye for now, guys! Bye! Bye-bye!